What's up, everybody? I'm Richard. And I'm John. And we are speaking the language of bromance. And, buddy, I missed you so much. Oh, Richard, I've missed you so much. You know, we talked last episode. You, you like, got into E3, and you got a bunch of cool video games. Richard, I have a new video game for you. <gasps> Tell me all about it. I want to know everything about it right now. Well, how do you feel about fighting games? Um... I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of meh, kind of meh on the fighting games. That's just you, me, though. You don't like Street Fighter, like old school fighting games. Um, I there's this there's this guy I watch. There's a streamer I watch, uh, Lane Pavogi, and he plays a lot of Street Fighter, and he plays a lot of fighting games in general. And like, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, they, they look cool. They look fun. They look like something, you know, like a cool skill to develop. Honestly, just not my cup of tea. Although, that being said, I've been watching trailers and stuff for the new Mortal Kombat. And, or for the Mortal Kombat that came oh, out. Yeah, the one that Their marketing department is fucking scratching me where I itch because they put out a they put out a, uh, a like a story trailer uh-huh. and they started playing the music from the fucking movie. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I don't even like fighting games. And I really want to buy this where you have to yell Mortal Kombat. It did. It did. It yelled that. And, and it was just your might. And I was like, oh, my God, it's the fucking song. <laughs> well, Richard, what if I told you about a game that you could fight in VR? Does that pique your interest any? Maybe. What if it's you and I, could, I can I could fight? Be down, I could be down for that. What if you and I can fight one on one in VR? Well, and see now, now I'm now I'm a hundred percent down for it, and then I can oh, take yeah. out like all that all that repressed rage I have for you. I can yeah, finally all that sexual just, energy, that sexual. Wait, like, whoa, whoa, and then Richard, wait, what we can do is we can have no, sex wait, in the video game. No, it's but no, you'll things, be a hot Asian it's getting woman. Weird. It got weird. No, you'll be a hot Asian woman, and I'll be an Asian man, so it's okay. Wait, why am I an Asian woman? It's not How did I become VR? an Asian woman? Am I like an old Asian woman? No, like a hot, sexy young... Richard, I want to talk about this game <laughs> I've heard about called Striking okay. Vipers 10. I knew it. Yeah. So, I don't know if anybody's seen it. All but- the fantasies you finally had in your head are finally being fulfilled. I know, right? Richard is a hot Asian woman wearing a bikini, sitting on my face. It's my wife's favorite fantasy too. I don't get it. What Asian? Why woman? do I? Why do I? Why do I choose to hang out with people that have such odd tastes? <laughs> they so, all want me to be Asian women. <laughs> so I don't want to want to get too far into it in case nobody's seen it. But I'm talking about the TV show Black Mirror in the first episode, Striking Vipers. So wait, are are I mean? She threw a spoiler tag up in front of this. Yeah, maybe it's it's been out for a month or so at this point. That's true. Good point. And I mean, if that doesn't make you like, I didn't really even say too much. So spoilers from here on out. But if you just hear VR video game Asian sex, like you're in, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I totally want to get I, with a, a very hesitant. Yeah. But I totally want to get your opinion on this because. I, I do another podcast called Strange Indeed, and we covered Black Mirror. And I was getting ready to watch this episode as you and I were texting. I was like, yeah, I'm about ready to watch Striking Vipers. And I'm like, man, I feel like this one might hit home a little bit. And you'd already seen it. And you're like, I had Hold already that seen it. <laughs> Hold that thought. Talk to I me know. afterwards. <laughs> exactly. Because you, because you were talking about it, and you're like, I feel like this one's really going to you know, hit me where I live. And I'm like, oh, my God. This oh is where it happens. God. I was like, I but. knew it. <laughs> and then, like two hours later, I call at this you point crying. he's the Asian woman. <laughs> <laughs> I call you crying drunk. It did hit closer to home than I thought. <laughs> I Why won't you, you fuck here. me in a video game? <laughs> 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 but so <coughs> I I flipped on this show, Striking Vipers, and I assumed like. They set it up really well. Like you see the the main characters, and it's Anthony Mackie too. Who I think is an awesome actor. Like I like really Anthony good. Mackie, and I I really liked him in this episode. Oh, I did too. This was from the yeah. new season. This is probably my favorite episode. It'd probably this, be this. Is this episode one. Out yeah, of the, out yeah. of the three, because there was three. There were three total. There was the one with Miley Cyrus. Then there's the one with Anthony Mackie. And the third one that I cannot recall it's, the title of. It's Smithereens is the title of it. Yeah. 
And yeah, I, yeah, that's it. And I watched Smithereens first, then this one, then the Miley Cyrus one, because I, when I first looked at IMDb, they had them out of order, but I actually like them in the order that they should have came out. So like Striking Vipers, Smithereens, and the Miley Cyrus one was kind of meh. Hmm. But I, I really like how they set this episode up to begin with, because when you get into it, you have this guy you know, with his girlfriend in college. It's kind of wild, sexy. You see him back at their, yeah. their, their like college pad. You have the post-sex pizza, which I don't know about you, Richard, but after I have like really good sex, like you know what I want? Cold pizza, like morning cold after pizza. cold pizza. Yeah, yes. yeah. Hundred like percent. Yeah, like you have that night drinking pizza, and then you get the good, good sex. Yeah. At two in the morning, you're like, mm, there's still pizza in that fridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, still- okay, okay. See, like, because some foods work for like after sex foods, like cold pizza. But like, I would not eat cold chi- like cold chicken. I would not do because then you're sitting there and you're fucking gnawing on bones, and yeah, you're we're probably crazy. let's. And let's be honest with each other. Like you're probably naked. And oh, so yeah, like, that's a, the only way to eat the pizza. so like the girl's going to come in and see you sitting there gnawing on a fucking chicken leg. Yeah. Stark well, naked. And you probably, you probably look fucking like you look like a goddamn <laughs> baboon. Just said, oh, well, oh. you're so hungry. It's like pizza, eat the whole thing. And usually you'll eat like any breadsticks. You eat like two pieces of pizza. And yeah, like that chicken, yeah. you know what you're doing. You're putting that bone all in your mouth, trying to get every little yeah. bit of meat. And yeah. she walks in in your deep throat in this chicken thigh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, uh, 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 do you want a bite? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, you're like a oh, seal. So like a seal going down on the you pro- And you'll, you look probably a fucking yeah. mess. But I mean, pizza, if you're eating it naked, it's like, ugh. Like, I just had sex with that. It was like, oh, but pizza. Like, nobody gets mad when you got pizza in your hand. But That's these guys, true. they play this game, and like I was thinking, and why I thought this would hit home is because you know I'm getting in my mid 30s. Like I'm expecting my midlife crisis to happen at any moment, Richard. I don't know what it's going to yeah? be, but it's going to be something. Yeah, probably. Because I mean, you think about it. I started college when I, or started work when I was 22. Like career seriousness. So okay. I've been doing that okay. for a long time. So you know, like a lot of people I talk to, like, well, I didn't get serious about life until I was 30. I'm like, well, I've kind of been serious at life for 11 years and I'm ready to get drunk, eat pizza and fuck a polar bear. And they don't get the reference, which is really awkward around the coffee table when you're talking to your in-laws. Why does Pookie Bear want to fuck a polar bear? Laura, it's an expression. Laura, that's that's what they call gay big hairy men in Alaska. I knew it was gay. <laughs> polar bears. Jeez, Laura, get with the times. You're so. I remember when I wanted to fuck a polar bear. <laughs> You're so charming, Laura. <laughs> well, when in Alaska, <laughs> but I, I call was... them fishing trips. <laughs> <laughs> you always say your chap from the well, the waiters. <laughs> <laughs> but what I expect gives me a headache, Laura. <laughs> what I was expecting for this episode is it was going to be, you know, he gets this video game. It's a VR. And then he starts like getting more into like the porn VR stuff. I wasn't expecting him to fuck his best friend in VR. No, I don't think anybody was. I think everybody had that. I think everybody that watches this has that moment where they're sitting there and they're like, you know, you know, they're in, they're doing the little, like the little fighting bounce, you know, where they're like hopping from foot to foot. Yeah. You know? And you're like, this is and slightly then, erotic, but you're playing with your best friend. And then they start, I, I think everybody, everybody that watches this, that doesn't know what's coming has their jaw drop. Yeah. It was like, it got weird. Well, it and it didn't get weird at first because they, they really go at it like with the making out. And then yeah. the the main character, Danny, is like, whoa, whoa, Carl. Like, we're dudes. Game over. And they pop out, which again, yeah. like that's what I start telling my wife now after we get done doing it. I'm like, game over. <laughs> game that's over. What I scream. That's what I scream <laughs> when I finish. Is Richard here yet? Game over. <laughs> I usually make the sound when Mario dies. I'm like, boo doo boo doo boo 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 Oh, you lost another life. Yeah. Or I could do the Pac-Man one. be like, boo. So you see these guys start making out, right? And the first thing I think about when this happens is like, oh, God, what did I just tell Richard? Yeah. 
That's yeah. the first thought that went through my head. Immediately, you know, when you were because when you were saying to me, I was like, "Oh, he's gonna regret everything he's saying to me right now." <laughs> Instantly, I'm gonna get a phone call in the middle of him watching this. <laughs> like, remember the stuff I said earlier? Don't tell anybody I said that stuff. <laughs> Let's save it for the podcast. Nobody listens anyway. I mean, <laughs> it's okay. It's a safe space. I can be. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody'll know. I mean, I don't. I really don't want to have sex with you in a video game. But I mean, I mean, like, I, I mean, if you want to try it, I but mean, if I, I bought guess... it for you and you were <laughs> like on one night and you know, and like things happened, and I want to be an Asian woman, Richard. That's I'm what I'm so trying to say. lonely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you see that scene happen, like, because at first, you know, it, it is slightly erotic, and like he's going to get some ideas. Like he's, you know, this Danny guy's going to be like, I'm in this marriage that. We're having sex just to, you know, make babies, which is never fun. Like, you think it would be. Like, you think, like, oh, we get to have sex all the time? Not the case. Like, nothing sexier than, like, hey. Well, because it gets very utilitarian. You feel used. It's like, hey, I'm ovulating. Stick your dick in me. Mm. That's the hottest thing you've said since college. (laughs) (laughs) But seeing that, like, I was expecting to get him to go down this path of, like, these sketchy VR chat rooms and like having yeah. sex with all these random things. And I had heard the quote, like odd side note bear. though. I've never had, I've never had that issue. Like the, the, uh, Oh, I'm ovulating. Like I've had, I have, I, I've had three kids, Sean. Uh, the only, the, the, the one that, uh, that we, act, the, the one that was somewhat planned or more planned than the others, I would say would be my metal one. And that was first try. Uh, Jacoby was pretty quick too. Cause we basically had said like, we're not going to not try. Yeah. And what we learned from that is my pullout game is strong. Like I'm good at that. Yeah. Cause, cause we stopped and like within a month she's like, Hey, guess what? Baby in the oven. I'm like, don't call my son an oven. She's like, I didn't. It's an expression. I'm like, don't call my son an expression. Why are you putting my baby in an oven? <laughs> You're <Don't> horrible. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, that's where I was expecting this to go. Is kind of like that. That you know, him doing these weird things. But yeah, you see, like they're fighting. It's slightly erotic, and then bam, Carl plants a big one on him, which to yeah, me yeah. says. That Carl had this plan for a while. You know, that's that's the impression I got is that because like I got the impression that like, hey, I bought you this game. Oh, and this. Oh, and this headset. Yeah. And, this and then he jumps in on and your like, penis. I'm the, oh, you're going to pick a guy. So I obviously am going to pick a girl. But he and always then, picked the girl, though, which was kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Which I mean. You know, sometimes you pick a female to in a game. I mean, there's games where I played females but uh game of life yeah yeah you got you caught me <laughs> um but like but then as soon as it happens i was like he wanted this like this like this like he i feel like he machiavellied his way into making out with him which to me again i always try to figure out like it's a video game but it's your buddy and you know it's your buddy and they talk like your buddy, but not in voice. Like, you can't hear them. They're talking through the female's voice. Well, I guess then, I mean, you know, I mean, the po- I feel like the point of the point of Black Mirror is it poses moral questions in this age of technology. And so I, I feel with this is the moral dilemma is, you know, like... <sighs> Is there like how much, how big is the disconnect between you and you on the internet? And I'll give you, I'll I'll give you, I'll give you an example. You see a lot of people that I like to call, um, oh, uh, like, like Twitter, um, like Twitter confident where you see a lot of like trolley comments and people that would say people that will say like outlandish stupid shit, but they're doing it on Twitter or they're doing it on Reddit or Facebook to a degree that, you know, that they would never say in real life, but because it's a completely virtual presence, there's this weird disconnect 
or disassociation between what you're putting out online or what you're putting out in a on the internet in a social space and and what you put out personally in real life IRL but, but do you think this this makes it more like this gets into like the ready player one kind of world where yeah you're you're not f- physically there but you're all but physically there cuz the other thing i couldn't quite figure out and i and i asked this question so they're hooked into this vr set they're having these these sexual encounters yeah. but is it all just mental stimulation like are they actually having like these sexual releases like when he gets up he's got this big wet spot in his pants or is it all just like the mental you know, endorphins and the right triggers are getting hit in your brain, but it's all just neurological. It's not physical. I mean, because I asked, that I don't know. That, that poses a question of, okay, if it is just mental, complete mental stimulation, is that where you would consider it cheating? Uh, I say, I, I, I mean, I, I would say yes. I would too. But is that because we're not, you know, if this is a more common thing, is that more acceptable? Because like you think years back, well, let me back up. So we have porn now, and some people consider porn cheating. Yeah, uh, yeah, that I that I don't understand, but that I don't, I don't, I don't think that's cheating. Like I don't see is- that as cheating because you know we had we had video cassettes before. It's not our fault that it's just convenient and enough to be on our phones now. Now I say that so porn, I don't like recorded porn itself is not cam girls like people who are physically there like. They're there, like that you're communicating with them, or you're somehow like it's not just a video. That to me is where you cross the line, and that to me is where you get into the kind of that gray area, probably past. So the gray you're saying area. it's so you're saying it's once you once you participate, once you're interact, once it becomes interactive, then it's then it's that's that's your line. I and so like the the question you could pose here, they don't really go into it, but. What happens if he has a, a world that he can go into in Striking Vipers where there's not an actual person there, but he's still playing against this character, but it's the AI, and he has sexual like interactions with it. But it's so sophisticated that it's like it's a real person. Like, what would you consider that? Like, well, is that I mean, a gray I, area? Because it's interactive at that no, point. No, no, and I'll tell you why. Because explain – okay, so explain to me the difference between – a between you putting on a a virtual going into a virtual world and sleeping with a virtual AI explain to me the difference between that and a ro a robotic fleshlight there's no so with the the fleshlight there's no like artificial intelligence there's no interaction it's still you doing all the work but with like an AI there's an interaction there like it's all but a real person so you're saying you could you so you so you're saying you could theoretically cheat on your wife with a computer. I'm just posing that's, a question. That's cheat. Well, okay. So is that cheating for you? Cause I would say um, no, it's definitely, it's, it's not as far as like the cam girl type stuff, like the actual interactions with somebody real, but to me, it still butts up against this. Cause I mean, there's like levels, right? You get caught okay. with your pants down by yourself. <laughs> so, 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 okay. So let me, let me, let me think, let me amend my answer because I would say that no, it isn't cheating, but I still would not do it because I think that it would make my significant other uncomfortable, uncomfortable enough that she might consider it cheating. And therefore I wouldn't do it because to me, when it, when it comes to, okay, so in the broader sense, when we're talking, when, when, when I'm talking about infidelity in general, I always feel when it came to infidelity that it's not about saying yes or no to a given situation. It's about not putting yourself in the situation. Yeah. No, I get that. I'm totally in that same boat. Like, don't put yourself in a position where you have to, where you have to make a yes, no decision, because if you, if you've put yourself in that position, you've already done fucked up. Yeah. You've gone to, somewhere down happened. the, yeah. Somewhere down the way you've already fucked up. Yeah. You're never going to be able to talk to your wife. Like, well, I didn't understand why she wanted to come to my hotel room, but right. I said, no, 
It's like, why the fuck was she in your hotel room? The only, the only. I thought she wanted to play video games, babe. Right. I mean, the only, obviously, the only like, you know, exemption from this would be if I'm sitting in a bar and a complete random stranger approaches, just walks up to me and says, "Let's go to my place and fuck like rabbits," because you know that happens all the time. <laughs> Richard, to whenever, me, as a person in the world, I want us to make this rule now. If that ever happens, so we don't carry around like rape whistles. But what we do, Richard, when that happens, we just go game over. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, I'm I am not fearful that that will one day happen. <laughs> That's not going to happen. That will Tiffany, never happen. Tiffany already knows, like, if that does happen to that extent, she's getting a text and a phone call right away. I'm going to be like, hey. You will not fucking believe. Hey, stay right here. Hey, tell my wife what you just said. She will not believe you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so for me, infidelity on the broader sense is don't put yourself in the situation where you have to say yes or no. Because if you if if you are in that situation, you've already done something or said something prior to to this decision that has that has probably not been on the up and up. So that relates back to the show pretty well. And so like the first time it happens, Danny doesn't know what's going on. Like he got caught up right. in the moment. He, right. I wouldn't say he put himself in that situation. That would be the extent of like, you're walking out of the bathroom and some woman throws herself on you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. You're like, Whoa, wait a second. What the fuck? You're not my wife. Get yeah. away. Yeah. But then he goes back for a second game and a third he does. game. And then he starts putting like the chair against the door to keep people from coming in while he's playing. Well, I would say like, I mean, once he goes back for the second game, like the second, like once the second game, they start the second game, like that's what's going to happen. Yeah, like it wasn't a case. It wasn't a case of, you know, uh, like, Hey, that thing that happened last time, that was fucking weird. Right. Well, they did say that they're like, Oh, I was drunk. And I was like, yeah, it's just, a, Oh yeah. It's just, just, it's not getting to VR, man. It's not getting VR. I mean, so, okay. So, 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 so sleeping with an artificial intelligence, I personally would not consider it cheating, but I still would not do it because I think it would make my spouse uncomfortable. So saying that, and this is kind of in a very black mirror world. The reason I think it's kind of like, uh, is cause I feel like. If you're to that point where you're like, I'm going to jump in this world, I'm going to have sex with this VR thing, I feel like you're very, very close to somehow becoming emotionally attached to it or emotionally invested some to some extent to it. I think it'd be maybe the first time or second time you're like, it's just a stupid VR thing. But right. after a while, you're going to be like, oh, man, my wife's bitching at me. Work sucks. I'm going to go see Cindy Lou at the cattle ranch because she's a cowgirl this this week oh i'm getting a little peek behind the curtain here <laughs> hey lucy i rounded up the cattle where are you i'm in the barn sean <laughs> oh you want to roll around the hay <laughs> laura now he's a cowboy he can't i knew it horse. laura you should go to Alaska like a real man, Laura. Go on a fishing trip. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, what do you think? I mean, do you feel like would that become a potential risk in your mind at all? So like, let's say your wife is like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like porn to me. Would you be too concerned about like, oh man, I could go to bed right now and maybe try to get some, or I can just hop in this VR and do my thing here. I mean, I would probably, I would probably still opt for the IRL thing, but I will say that like, I mean, I'm, th I'm 37. So I remember life before the internet. Yeah. I, I, <clears throat> you know, I still have one. I would say that I still have one foot in the analog world. So it doesn't, it doesn't uh it doesn't excite me or i don't equate it as much as digital versus the real thing 
Like I uh, like I can definitely recognize a stark difference, and I think a lot of people probably could. So do you think? I you, think you're you know, too. You're too invested in how things are now that if they were able to hook something up to your head and you could feel like the sensations, like it's the best sex you've ever had in your life. But because you know, you have a better understanding that it's not actually real, that it wouldn't be. I think that knowing it wasn't real would, I think knowing that it wasn't real would be enough for me to want the real. Yeah. I don't know. I put, po- I posed that question. It's a very black mirror question. You know, you, cause that's where I thought this episode was going to go where it's kind of like, instead of his wife, he's like, I'm just going to go to this virtual world and start disconnecting more. Cause I mean, that's again, like ready player one. That's what you see. Like people start disconnecting right. from the real world more and more and more. Okay. Because- now in this case, to me, in this case, it is cheating because we're not talking about artificial intelligence. We're talking about another human being. Like this is with another human being. Yeah, I agree. I felt I felt the same way, especially when I think in all aspects. I was going to say, like in the aspect that he starts not spending more time with his family, but it's yeah, and that's where you get in the question: like, is it is it more of a physical or an emotional cheating, or does it matter? Because there is, there I is think cheating. it was. I, I think at this point, I, it, I mean, it was both. And that's why I posed the earlier question. So, is, if it just like again, for some reason, I feel like this just happened in his mind, right? Like the neurons, it's like orgasm neuron that fires uh-huh. his brain that fired off, but nothing physical happened, right? Like he didn't get up and have a mess in his pants, kind of thing. Like he didn't have the physical orgasm; he just had a mental orgasm. Like all okay. the things mentally that fired off happen because he wasn't like doing anything to himself. Like there was no like, you know, arousal going on. And they even, right. I guess again, maybe that's because it's not a porno. So they didn't like show him with a raging boner, but yeah. like I didn't see anything that told me this was a physical thing. So to say that, you know, it's just like if you watch a, an ex- erotic movie and erotica thing happens and you get kind of, you know, mentally turned on, like we'd say, well, that's not cheating. Like nothing happened there. But that's my question with this too. If it's just, you're just, okay, let me back up. Well, I guess you said the but AI see, with thing. This, you- with this at one point, like they're actually sitting and having a conversation. Like they're sitting and they're talking like that's like, they don't just show up, fuck. And then, and then exit the game. Yeah, like they spend true. they spend time together. So the question I posed earlier about AI, you're like, no, no, that's not cheating at all. You could have a real conversation with the AI just like that. So you post coitus, you know, you're dressed up as the cowgirl and you're with the cowboy because you're like, I want to flip it around a little bit, and you're laying in the cowboy's lap talking about how he looked really good lassoing all the the cattle. And how you mm-hmm. want to settle down with him on the frontier and make a home and give him bunches of babies? Well, you're really. I feel like I feel like you've laid this scenario out. Are you looking at notes? No. <laughs> <laughs> but what um, do you think about a cowboy named Todd? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So, me. If I slept with an if I slept with an artificial intelligence in a virtual world, as soon as I was done, like I'd leave because that thing's not real. Like regardless of whatever conversation they that 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 I think I'm going to have, like I'm not gonna like I'm not invested in that. I'm not. I I wouldn't be in emotionally invested. In an artificial intelligence, me, I, me personally, like if, uh, I don't care about it. Ho- it doesn't have hopes. It doesn't have dreams. It doesn't have, you mm-hmm. know, it doesn't have, you know, aspirations for itself. It has ones and zeros. The biggest aspiration it can have is that it wants to, you know, take control of the entire U.S. military and, you know, destroy all humans. All of Skynet. It- yeah, and bring about, you know, robot Armageddon. Yeah, and you know why it did that, Richard? Because you didn't cuddle afterwards. Maybe. You're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Game over! <laughs> like he always does My- that. He always fucking does that. There it is. You know, he just he, he my, can't hang around. Uh, Be like, how's my computer my virus? Stunted, so like it's all cleared yep. up. 
My stunted emotional growth is the reason that we're all going to die. Now, you get... How invested do you get in video games? And do you think that... You know, let's say you finish with your your significant AI other, and she sends you on a mission. She's like, all right, Richard, now I need you to go and save the gem from the Iron Dragon. You're like, well... That sounds sounds kind of badass. Yeah, I know, right? You come back, and she starts talking with you. She's like, oh, my God, Richard, you saved me from the Iron Dragon. We should make coitus. You're like, oh, wait. And she's like, oh, we should bone. Wait, we should do it. Yeah. Let us fuck. (laughs) My love for you is ticking clock berserker. (laughs) But like so, I mean, you think these things can start getting pieced together, and would you would you start to to bend the lines of reality and VR? Because that's that's what the, like Black Mirror shows these things of like you know you get so you know like this game like it's not real. They're not actually doing it. They're playing a video game that allows them to have sex. Yeah. It's not real sex, but the world's been blended, and I think them going back to it is what kind of instant like makes it cheating. <sighs> yeah i would like i said you know the fact the fact that they go about that they go back to it not only not only to fuck but to like hang out and talk and and listen to each other and like but you don't think have, you get that from and an have AI? a connection don't i don't think you could get, get, get that though i don't think i could i don't think that i think that anything that i would get from an ai as real as it could feel, as real as it could be, I would still, in my head, think, well, this is just a bunch of ones and zeros. This is something that is probably patterning my behavior and how I think and feel and working to compensate to to meet it. Richard, what if I told you right now that for the last five years you've been talking to an AI? And you've never once asked me to dress up like a polar bear. There's a reason for that. Because you want me to dress. This up is how as a I cowboy? get my pot. This is how I get my <laughs> podcasting jollies off. That's why as soon as we're done, I'm like, all right, bye, click, <laughs> <laughs> exit podcast. I've been stimulated. Oh, he never- and program. <laughs> he never wants to talk afterwards. Uh, so, so we see this happen. We we find out that it's not, it, you know, I want to get your opinion. So when they meet in the real world, when somebody made a great point, it's like they go to a world, a VR world to fight and they end up having sex. And in the real yeah. world, they go to have sex and end up fighting. Yeah. What was your thoughts about like that interaction? Because when it first happened, I was expecting to be like, yep, we're into each other. Um, See, I, I it, that made sense to me because... <coughs> because like I said in a virtual world you're somebody completely different and so there's a disassociation and so then when you when when they see each other in real life that disassociation isn't there and so all that baggage and all that emotional bullshit and everything that comes along with you being who you are is now is now with you whereas if we're in a virtual world it's not you yeah you 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 like i said you disassociate and you are not you you are somebody else which is why you get people on twitter that say the stupidest dumbest racist shit you can think of but if you ever met these actual people they would not do that at all but because it's the internet and because it's, you know, because they, they, it's almost like, you know, like, oh, I can, it's, it's like they think nobody's watching. Yeah. I and like so that. it gives them the freedom to act with this sort of impunity that is otherwise governed by the fucking social contract. But even in that, like you said, Twitter, there's a historical record of it because it gets kept in this world. Whatever happens, nobody knows but you and the other person. True. And there's no passing of fluids that we can tell. Like if it's my theory where there's no actual like release happening, like physical release, there it's just like you come out of it, you're like, 
Uh, uh. I like, like I like how I like how you watch this and instead of wrestling with the emotional questions and everything else, your first question to yourself is, where's the wet spot on his pants? <laughs> well, I think it matters. I because- don't see any stains. <laughs> He's not even cleaning himself up. I bet it didn't even happen. I bet he faked it. He faked it, didn't he? (laughs) Well, I asked that question because, you know, it's a really, to me, it's a very VR thing. Like, Ready Player One, you wore these suits that, like, gave you the physical sensation. So it wasn't in your head, per se. Like, it wasn't something messing with your mind. You know, like if you got punched, you felt the punch. You know, if I'm assuming if right. it was like sexual things happening, the sexual things were physically happening. Whereas right. in this, like to me, again, it just feels like, is it just in your head? And that feels like it blurs the line even more between like entertainment and like actual physical, like, I guess it goes back to like the emotional and physical cheating kind of thing. Yeah. And okay. Okay. So, so what I was talking about with like the, you know, with, with like an artificial intelligence. Okay. So Sean, let's say, which I think they have, I think they've, they figured out how to, uh, sync up a, f- a fleshlight with like a VR headset. Okay. So Sean, there you are wearing a VR headset with a fleshlight strapped to your unit. And you're able to, you know, you're able to move and manipulate and feel sensation. Is that cheating? Is it, is it just like a, like a movie on the other end or is it a real person on the other end? It's a movie on the other end. Um, I mean, a movie is kind of, to me is it's borderline. But I mean, if it's if it's an actual movie where you where the stuff isn't actually happening with you, again, it goes back. The reason I say the AI part and it has to be a see, black but in this technology world, in this instance, I would say that if you're going through that much effort and spending that much money to feel the sensation to sl- of what it's like to sleep with somebody else, like kinda. I always like we've talked about the sex robots and I would never own a sex robot because right just like I wouldn't want to own this kind of thing like a VR headset with a flashlight because my first thought's going to be what was what's it going to look like when my wife walks in because it's going to happen yeah you know you're gonna you're gonna be mid action you're gonna hear the door open you're gonna hear oh my god yeah yeah then you're gonna have to yeah then you got to figure out some explanation for that. And you're going to be like, yeah, that $500. I just borrowed it. <laughs> Richard's on the other end. We're fighting. <laughs> I think I'm winning. <laughs> but yeah, and you got to explain that $500 credit card bill. It's like, what's, yeah. what's this? Uh, podcast stuff. Found me out. But no, I get, like you said, when they actually interact, like there's a lot of that baggage there as humans, as actual physical IRL people, which makes sense. Um, so let's go even further to the actual end end of this. Uh, so we find out that Danny tells his wife that they, he's been doing this game with his buddy and they were having sex in it or whatever. Yeah. And she doesn't leave him, but they come up with this arrangement where on his birthday, she gets to go out for a night on the town and physically be with somebody. Right. And he gets to play the video game with his buddy what what how'd that settle with you like what are that made that? no sense to me whatsoever okay <laughs> explain to me why because okay to me it sounds it sounds like they're saying okay let's open let's you know it sounds like they were wanting to you know open their marriage yeah Okay, but if that's what you're going to do, then just do that. Don't come up with these weird fucking rules. And I will, okay, I mean, I say that, but when it comes to people that are or ha- are in or have been in open relationships, like, I mean, you do you, whatever rules you want to come up with, but I don't know, this just, the rules here seemed very, seemed oddly specific, I guess. For lack for lack of a better term, it just seemed like okay. Just on your birthday, you can do this, and then I'll do this. 
So, like, when you look at that, so, like, we think, we both think that what Carl and Danny were doing was cheating on Danny's part. He was cheating on his wife. Yes. Yes. Now, when she's going out, and I, it's agreed upon, so you can say, like, well, it's not cheating because it's agreed upon. Right. But she's going out, meeting some random person, and getting intimate right. with them, assuming. Is that a different level, or, yeah, a different level of cheating? Is that, like... No, so, I would say it's the same. It's the same? How so? Yeah. Because you're still being, you're still being, well, you know, on, <clears throat> honestly, if I, if you would, if, if you really scrutinize it, I would say that, that, uh, that Carl, that him and Carl, I would say that in terms of, if, I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna rate the level of infidelity here, I would say that that is at a higher level than what she's doing because uh-huh. she's going out and randomly hooking up with somebody and then she's done. She leaves. She goes home. He has an actual like emotional attachment and an emotional connection to the other person. Yeah. But when he's with Carl in this VR world, that's where I keep going back to my question of the physicality of it. There's no actual physical contact to it. You know, it's it's kind of like Oh, what's the best way to kind of, you know, it's, I guess it goes back to like emotional and physical cheating to me. You know, if you, if you have an emotional like interaction over the internet with somebody, but it doesn't get physical, whereas somebody goes out and gets physical, like, is that two different levels of cheating? Like, is one more reconcilable than the other? I mean, I mean, by the time we get to the end, I would say that neither one of them are because they're, uh, they're, you know, doing whatever it is they agreed upon. Yeah. yeah, But I, but I would say that if you're asking me, if you're asking me to grade, which is worse on an infidelity scale, I would say that what she's doing is not as, Hmm. is not as, uh, it, it doesn't rate as high as what they're doing. Because they have a history together and he has an actual relationship with Carl rather than her just randomly hooking up with some dude. Yeah, I think I disagree. I think the physical one would be higher in my opinion. And I OK, say that OK, OK, well, let, let's let's hi- let's hypothetical something for you. OK, let's say that you are given permission to sleep with whoever you want. But you were given permission to sleep with anyone you want. And let's and 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 I don't mean and 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 don't you know just write it off by saying, well, nobody's gonna sleep with me. No, I'm that's saying true, that Sean. like we all know this. <laughs> that's why it's a hypothetical. <laughs> no, okay, like like let's say like, you know, there's there's a fair chance you could you could sleep with a decent amount of people. Let's say you could you I'll even put a number to it. Let's say you get to sleep with 40 people in a year. That's one every or 50, you know, 52 people a year, one a week. That's a lot. Yeah. Let's, let's cut that in half. We'll say 30. So one every like two weeks. Okay. Twice a month by, by month, by weekly. So twice a month, you're going to be, you're going to sleep with somebody else twice a month, but Twice a month, she's going to go out for the whole day and spend time with just one person. And it's, and it's an ex-boyfriend. Twice a month, she's going to go out and spend an entire day with an ex-boyfriend, and there's probably going to be sex involved. Oh, if there's sex? Well, again, that goes back to it's, being, it's physical. But if, okay, you're going, okay. if you're going the way I'm looking at this, how this game works, it'd be her. So the- you don't see the game. You don't see the game as physically cheating. I don't think so. I think it's, it's mostly emotional and you get some of the, and that's where you get those black mirror questions of what, is that a physical thing? And it's probably, I would way, say, yeah, I don't think it is. And I say that because, because you, you know, didn't see a wet spot. Like that's the caveat no wet spot and no bone. There's no wet spot. <laughs> I call shenanigans Black Mirror. <laughs> but there's no, like, it's, it's, so I guess the way I would look at it, it'd be like, so, okay, what would be worse? So, you know, the whole once, let's do once a year. So once a year, I get to go out and have sex with whoever I want. And once a year, 
Tiffany can, you know, chat with somebody, you know, an ex-boyfriend online, and they get kind of racy with their 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 uh, chatting. No pictures, no anything. You know, maybe they have a fake, you know, uh, avatar okay. kind of thing. Okay, okay, all right. To what me, about, okay. To me, the physical one where I'm going out would be higher than that. Okay, okay. How about this though? Here's here's. The, I would say that this is similar because this is using technology. Okay, let's say that you once a year get to go and sleep with anyone you want. While you're gone, she calls up an ex-boyfriend on Skype and they have virtual sex on Skype. Like she takes all her clothes off and so does he and they both pleasure themselves while staring into a camera. And then afterwards, then they like, you know, talk about their lives and they talk about like, you know, like fun times they had. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that's that's a little bit higher than what's happening here, though, because again, there's an avatar. You're not physically seeing like Danny's not physically seeing Carl in this world. He's seeing this, you know, fighting character and Danny vice versa. Even though whoever's playing the character is, you know, the actual person. So I mean, in your example, if the technology was, hey, we're in this virtual world where we both control these avatars and they get to do it, that to me would be like kind of what's happening here. Although there is a physical presence to it, so maybe the the pleasuring happens, but you don't see it. I don't know. I think I think you're you're right. You're riding the line here <clears throat> because I think that I think that they're they're together, like they're they're sleeping together because they feel. It's not just. Um, I I don't feel like it's just emotional because at one point at one point they're they have when they're sitting there talking, they have a conversation where. She where he's like, what does it feel like for you since you're, you know, obviously not a girl? Yeah. And she explains it like she I mean, she explains the way I've always heard a female orgasm explained. I mean, I still (laughs) believe it's a myth, but like uh, the males is like a guitar solo. I read a legend once about the female orgasm (laughs) and it sounded very similar to the way he described it. (laughs) I read it in a very old book. Called the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was called like ancient myths and legends is what it was called. It was right. It was in between the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoots, and the female <laughs> orgasm. They all live in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, and that's what I love about this show too, is it makes you kind of question these specific types of things. Like what's worse and what's, I mean, not worse, worse than what's better. But to me, even then, like, I feel like why is Carl, there is an emotional attachment there. Yes. But, and he, and he explains that there is a physical sensation because he describes what he feels. Well, yeah, but physically, again, what he physically feels. But Richard, did you see a wet spot? That's the question. That's the main. That's the main this, question here. This is the caveat. I You're gonna to have to Charles frame Brooker. by frame it. You know what you should yeah. do? You should pose this question to whoever wrote it. Charlie Booker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you should asked, be like, "Is there a wet? Like, did you just not shoot that part because <laughs> it's you know Charlie, because you thought it would look grody on Netflix?" He's like, "So we're set. so this is what's going to happen. So they're going to be in a panel." You should Charlie- DM Anthony Mackie and be like, <laughs> "Did somebody spray your pants with a sel- with a spray bottle?" And so we gonna, and I just didn't see it. What's going to happen is Charlie Brooker is going to be in this panel. He's going to be like, "Yeah, so you know they're in this scene, they're getting together, and you know, and this one we had this this deleted scene where Danny and him they're fighting, it's getting real emotional, and they're going at it, and they're they're having sex, and but Danny jumps out right, right, right at the moment, and I like raise my hand like, did he come? Did he? <laughs> did he? Did he? You know? Yeah, but I mean, did he finish? <laughs> Charlie's like, God damn it, Charlie. That's what I um, wanted. There's just some things you don't ask. Is he come or what? <laughs> I don't know. It's. Do you think this is a, a question that we're going to have to deal with in our lifetime at all? Like, how close do you think we are to this? I don't think it's a question you and I are going to deal with. I think there's a very strong possibility it's a question our kids are going to have to deal with. Because VR is getting pretty good. They already have sex games for VR. They do. Um, they do. 
when you were talking about the whole flashlight thing, isn't there a thing where you can connect with another person too? I believe so. Yeah. Which to me, that gets more in the question of, I guess this game almost, except again, there's more of a physical, but then thing that's, going on. that's, I was going to say that's expressly for the per well, that all also that's expressly for the purpose of that. Yeah, true. But I mean, you could say that like, I mean, they fucking sent, they started up that striking vipers game. I don't remember them fighting at all in the game ever uh, afterwards. Yeah. But I mean, the other thing too, so like I was thinking about this, so, like, let's say, Danny and Carl both have this thing like, oh my God, like sex in this game is amazing. Like, let's say you and I stumbled onto this. Like for some reason you're feeling frisky. We're both drunk and you're the Asian chick and I'm the Asian dude. We go at it. We're like, all right, let's never do this again. But that was fucking Again, hot. why are you making me the Asian chick? What, what uh, the, leads you? Why would I be the female here? Of the two of us, who would be the female? You. Mm. Uh, mm. Probably. I'd be the polar bear for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but like, let's say, let's say like, it's not, it's not you or I, like you go out and you play a game with somebody else. You're like, this still sure. feels good. Like, wouldn't you invite your wife to do that? Like, you know, you- I kind of had that thought. Like when, when they were, when they, when, uh, when Danny and his wife, like when he like came clean with the whole thing, like I was thinking like, is the wife, like I was thinking that the wife was going to be like, well, why don't you and I try this? Like, why don't you and I do oh, this? Oh, shit. That's what happens. Like, he gets on with Carl, and they're about to play, and all of a sudden they say, Player 3 has entered the game. Oh, like, shit. Who the fuck is that? And that's the polar bear, and it's his wife playing the oh, polar bear. Oh, my God. Like, bend over, Carl. You're about to get it. A fucking threesome with a polar bear. Yeah. On your best friend, your BFF. That's something uh, you don't come back you from. The, it'd be you and the polar bear running the train on a fucking small Asian woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I've seen that uh, Asian porn, that Japanese porn. Yep. Yep. It's out there. It'd be a tentacle monster. Uh, so what? So let's let's reverse this. Let's say you catch your wife playing this game with one of her friends. What are your thoughts? I mean, I've, I mean, yeah, I player think I've three been has clear. entered the game, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Cause you know, the other, cause the other, cause if, if, I mean, if we're reversing scenarios here, the other person is also a female. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. That's why they couldn't do it. That's why the Miley Cyrus episode couldn't be this one. Cause you'd show up and be like, Hey girls. And they'd be like, game over. Like, oh. <laughs> now I'm just in this game. Player by one has left the game. Player two <laughs> has left the game. Damn it. Well, what do I do now? Oh, I wonder if this feels the same here. Uh, oh, I guess I'm so- in training mode. <laughs> <laughs> Just like normal sex life. Uh, uh, so overall, what'd you think of the ep- episode? Was it your favorite of the new three for each season five or uh, of, of the three? Yeah. Of, of of those three episodes, I felt like it was the most black mirror episode. Of the three. Agreed. Yeah. The Smithereens one's it a little bit, but it, it was definitely more rooted in like <laughs> like now to me. Yes. Yes. The Miley Cyrus one kind of left a little like the Miley Cyrus one to me felt like it was an episode written for Miley Cyrus. No, I, I would agree with that. Although I will say uh two things. One I, I, I kind of liked I kind of liked the musical style she did at the end. And number two, that was a terrible nine inch nails cover of head like a hole. Not good. It was not good. And I honestly, it, in the Miley Cyrus thing in the first part of the when she first in the, in the very beginning of the episode where she's singing that pop song. I was sitting there and I was like, man, that sounds a lot like head like a hole by nine inch nails. Oh, <laughs> and then at the end she sings head like I was like, oh, okay, yeah, this really makes sense. It. But it was a bad cover. Yeah. Well, what can you do when you get a big star? You gotta write to their strengths. But uh, as we're tidying up the striking vipers, because uh, Tiffany is already in bed, so we've got a t- uh, you know at least thirty to forty minutes for two fights. Uh, what are your Richard's closing <laughs> thoughts? Thirty to forty minutes for two fights. More like five minutes for one fight. <laughs> and P.S. I get to be the polar bear. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen the episode number one, what are you doing? Watch this. But if you, if 
uh, for people that haven't watched the series as a whole, I would say definitely watch the series as a whole for, for most, for people that haven't seen black mirror at all. I always tell them I'm, I say it's kind of a modern version of the twilight zone with a technology futuristic kind of aspect to it. Mm. But I always tell everybody in terms of like, well, is it, you know, is it gory? Is it weird? And I always say, if you can make it through season one, episode one, I'm like, if you can make it through that one, then you're fine for the rest. Like nothing. I always, I always tell people you know, to skip episode one. I'm like, it's, yeah, it's the oddball of all the episodes. It's a shock value. Skip it. Watch the other ones first, and then go back to that one. Yeah, or if you can, if you can watch just- episode one, then everything, everything else in terms of shocking and weird. If you can make it through that one, then everything else, you know, you're fine. If you get done watching episode one, you're like, that was interesting. Then you're fine for all the rest. Yeah, if you can get through it, yeah. All right, well, let me do a little bit of housekeeping. Visit our website, we're at languageofbroance.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at languageofbro. Email us at bros at languageofbroance.com. Like us on Facebook, and if you're wanting some LOB merchandise, go to tpublic.com and search for Pod Bros, and you'll find a couple of our shirts up there, as, as well as a bunch of the other Pod Bro shirts, because, Richard, you know what? We are part of the Pod Bros Network. Because it's the striking vipers site on the internet it's That's the, the shirt we need to make we need to make a striking bros shirt and put it up there oh my god oh and somebody could draw like me with like long hair like long like stark white hair yeah and me as a and then you could have a little bandana <laughs> or not bandana like a headband and they can it'll say fight but if you look at it one way it looks like it says fuck <laughs> let us fight fight Hmm. <laughs> Awkward. All right. Well, is there anything else before I close her out? Uh, no, I have to go make a shirt. All right. Well, that's all the bronze we have for this show. I'm Sean. And I'm Richard. And remember, don't be a why. Be a be why, a why not. not. Richard, I fucked a polar bear and I couldn't get you I out of my it. head. I knew it. You cheating bitch. <laughs> I'm Nicole and I'm Sarah and we are the Homance Chronicles <laughs> the Homance Chronicles is an adult comedy podcast where we laugh like this all of the time <laughs> at our real life shit it's what happens where we talk about everything from dating disasters to poor choices after drinking entirely way too much we always drink too much oh, that's a terrible thing oh it leads to awkward encounters both sober and drunk though true that's very the, true. the twilight zone is real <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate girl talk where we share everything. Even everything. Butt stuff. Yeah, all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you can find us anywhere you listen to podcasts. Just search the Homance Chronicles. And if you haven't figured it out, Homance is the girl version of a bromance. So get ready to giggle along. Tell me that you recorded it. Homance out! <laughs> <laughs>